welcome Will Link. I've never really been a strip club guy. The whole scene made me uncomfortable. Sure, I love naked women as much as anyone, but here's what I thought strip club guys were. Sad men hooting and hollering at women while getting sexually frustrated and ultimately throwing money away. I'm better than that. I didn't want to pay to see tits. I wanted to earn tits the old fashioned way. <laughs> Take a girl out, be forced to buy her an overpriced meal, invite her back to your place and pretend you just want to watch a movie. That's how I earn tits. <laughs> tits that once earned, I'd be allowed to handle in some manner. <laughs> However, as the years went by, I thought, I should go to a strip club just for the experience. <laughs> but, at, but at that point, any friends I had who went to them had grown out of that phase. Nevertheless, I knew one day as a writer and possibly man, the experience, <laughs> the experience might come in handy. Eventually, I'd have to visit a strip club. The first time I went was in Las Vegas. I was there with a few friends and a buddy had given us free passes to a club called Sapphire. This was it. We arrived and I discovered Sapphire is huge. I was overwhelmed, distracted by both the size of the building and the endless stream of topless women wandering around. We were escorted to a table and ordered some Jack just like Sinatra. <laughs> I watched more ex stripper experienced patrons talk to some girls and then not so politely wave them away by blowing a thick cloud of cigar smoke in their faces. I started thinking about these bloated, balding men turning down lap dances. Who were they to reject these beautiful, deeply wounded, half-naked women? <laughs> As I contemplated this, a tall blonde jumped in my lap. She immediately started touching me, and I was powerless to resist her charms. She spoke in a thick Russian accent. Because I do my research, I recalled something I once read in a book on strippers. Russians are the most aggressive in the club. Still, since I can't help but be talkative, I went on about how it was my first time at a strip club, my hopes and dreams for the future, being the product of divorce. She, she then asked if I wanted a lap dance, and since I didn't know how else to get her off of me, I agreed to the dance. It was nice. Maybe it was because she was chewing gum, but I felt like she was just going through the motions. At the end of it, I paid her $20 and immediately pulled my chair in as close to the table as possible, knowing that if I didn't, I would give money to literally any girl who jumped in my lap. The night continued. We drank. The boys got dances. We befriended other strippers and smoked cigars. But I kept thinking that I got gypped on my dance. I wanted a real lap dance from an American girl. <laughs> I watched the strippers walk by until I saw the one. She stood out from the crowd. Curly hair and Semitic good looks. <laughs> Seductively, this SGL wandered the floor, smiling at customers, capturing them in her mesmerizing gaze. Finally, she walked over to our table. Almost immediately, SGL started making fun of other strippers, claiming they were all putting themselves through nursing school. <laughs> this was my kind of girl. She sat down asking what we did. I said screenwriter, and this half-naked girl told us she wanted to get into costume design. <laughs> then she asked... Then she asked a question that killed me. So, what's your favorite movie? I practically leapt across the table and drunkenly shouted, A clockwork orange! She said, What about Goodfellas? This response excited me. She was called on stage to dance, but promised she'd be back. As we watched her, I knew this was who would give me my American lap dance. SGL came back over and after some small talk, looked right at me and sensing my weakness said, Want a lap dance? 
Of course I did, but she threw me a curveball. I give private dances. How much are those? <laughs> a hundred for three songs. Sure, I was on vacation, but a hundred bucks? This seemed too rich for my blood. <laughs> and yet, the experience might make it worthwhile. She was by far the best looking girl in the club. SGL sensed that I was on the fence, so she told me she'd let me think about it and walked away. <laughs> I couldn't justify the money, and the boys assured me it wouldn't be worth it. They were probably right. But all I could think was, if one dance is 20, three dances are 60, what do I get for the extra 40 bucks? <laughs> However, at the end of the day, I decided I would just get a $20 dance and call it a night. What was she gonna do? Say no? She's a stripper and I'm at her place of business. It's her job. <laughs> We saw SGL and flagged her down. You ready for that private dance? Look, I would love to give you $100. I'd love to give you 200 But I'll just take the regular $20 dance. But I only give $100 dances. Do you really only give $100 dances? Or are you just saying you only give $100 dances? I really only give hundred dollar dances. A standoff. I should have probably gotten the hundred dollar dance, but at this point I couldn't get give in. I couldn't let her win. She gestured behind me and pointed to another stripper, one seriously lacking her Semitic good looks. Why don't you get a dance from her? I stare SGL right in the eyes, disgusted. You expect me? to get a dance from an inferior girl? Her face drops. I'm sure I've got her. She'll give me the dance. She smiles the slyest of smiles and says, I'll catch you next time. Foiled again by a beautiful woman. Now I'm even getting rejected by strippers, but I can't leave without getting that American lap dance, the ones I've heard so much about. Girl after girl walks past our table, but none will do. Finally, a super cute, friendly girl with a pixie haircut approaches. After a few moments of banter, she de I decide she's no SGL, but she's funny, and even with a stripper, personality goes a long way. <laughs> I explained to her that some Russian gave me a half-assed dance earlier, and she jokes, well, I don't know if you want one from me, because my lap dances are the worst. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> I decide I need to know what the worst lap dance is like. As a Nickelback song begins, <laughs> I take off my glasses and she proceeds. The dance is amazing. As she rubbed her perfect body against mine, grinding her ass on my lap, I had a moment of clarity. I understood. This was what everyone had been talking about. Maybe I was no different than those bloated, balding, hooting, hollering men. Certainly my massive erection said so. <laughs> to my surprise, I love this. While she's doing her thing, she slides her body across my face. Now, I don't know if it's the body cream she had on or that I occasionally suffer from a very inconvenient chronic dry eye syndrome. <laughs> but my eyes begin to burn. Bad. Then they begin to tear. A lot. I start to panic, unsure what to do. My eyes hurt so bad, but what she's doing feels so good. Two areas of my body on fire in completely different ways. The song ends and she looks at me, tears pouring down my face. Does she think I'm crying because I was so moved by her dancing abilities? Or because, as she warned, it was the worst lap dance? Meekly, she says, y you don't have to pay me for the dance. 
Covering my eyes, I pull out a fistful of cash and hand it to her, still blinded by pain, still unable to see this pixie. You were great. You were the best. <laughs> she slowly walked away. What have I done? Have my tears shattered her confidence? Will she ever give a lap dance again? At that point, it was our cue to leave. We paid the bill and headed straight back to the hotel. I haven't been to a strip club since. I finally know, and I just don't want to go. Not because I still think I'm better than these other men. It's just a waste of money. If I did go again, I'd have to wait until I had more disposable income. Then I could go back to SGL for that private dance and find out what I would have gotten for that extra 40 bucks. 